Welcome to Yoga Lucia in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Julie Pawlowski, and um, Hallie and I are going to show you some mind body exercises to strengthen your pelvic floor, which strengthens your TVA and can really help lower back pain if you're not uh, yet strong enough to do most of our uh, core work. These things everyone can and should do. So start by lying on your back. Press your arm bones into the mat and let your shoulders drop back away from your collarbone. Then tuck your pelvis and roll up into a bridge. Put your fingertips inside your hip bones, inside your hip points. Sometimes you have to dig a little to find those hip bones, but find them and then slide your fingertips in about a half an inch. From there, draw your sits bones toward each other and draw your pubic bone back toward your tailbone, creating a front to back connection and a side to side connection and then lift up your pelvic floor. So right in the middle of that cross, lift up your pelvic floor. So it kind of feels like you're tightening your butt, but it's also about this front to back connection. Lift your pelvic floor and release. Lift up your pelvic floor and release. So, to be perfectly frank, if you're a female, it feels like you're pulling a very small tampon tighter and higher into your body. And if you're a male, it feels like you're sucking the boys up. Do you follow? Lift up your pelvic floor. Hold on to it for a second. Notice when your pelvic floor begins to kind of flicker. Weak muscles are a little like bad light bulbs. They just sort of flicker and then turn off. So notice when it starts to flicker, re-engage, light it up, pull some power, and then release. Lift your pelvic floor, draw in, draw up. You'll notice your, her bones aren't moving. When I do these pelvic floor exercises, the only reason you're upside down is because most people can kind of sense that a little bit better. But you're not lifting and gyrating your pelvis. That's a different pelvic floor activity not suitable for you too. <laughs> so, Lift your pelvic floor and release. Do about 20 reps of this, and then try bringing your left sits bone to your right fingertips. So your fingertips are still right inside your hip points. Left sits bone, right fingertips. Feel that diagonal. Left sits bone, right fingertips. Left sits bone, right fingertips. Engage, release. Engage, release. Do about 10 reps there. Notice the diagonal between those two points. Can you feel a different sensation in your inner thighs? Is one inner thigh firing more than the other to help your diagonal? Then try lifting your right sits bone over to your left fingertips. Engage and release. Engage and release. Engage. Again, do that about eight times and notice what changes in your support under your feet, if anything. Notice if you lean to one side to get that diagonal or if you can keep it very, very centered. Then lift straight up into your pelvic floor. Do you feel the condensing under your fingertips when you lift your pelvic floor? That's the base of your TVA. That's where you can kind of sense your um, body pulling together. The front side of the, the deepest part of your abdominals, your transversus abdominals, those are pulling back as you lift your pelvic floor up. It's like a two for one. You get that complementary muscle contact, contraction. Keep lifting and releasing and then lifting and releasing. Now stay up, go a little higher, a little deeper with your body, and then lift off one leg. Can you engage and release, engage and release? Advanced students, you can kick out. Beginners, just barely lift your toe off the floor. Engage and release. How you be advanced? Reach up and release. I just got back from vacation. Lift and release. Lift and release. Now switch sides. Lift one leg. Again, engage your pelvic floor. Can you engage evenly through your pelvic floor even when one foot's off? Engage, release, engage, release. Do you feel like one side is stronger than the other? Engage, release. Just sort of explore those spaces and those muscular contractions and connections. 
Now both feet down. Roll down from the back side of your heart, your lungs. Let your rib cage drop. Let your waistband drop, and then your tailbone drop. Again, tuck back up and roll up into your bridge. Again, putting your fingertips on those hip points. And think about your sacrum, the low part of your back, right kind of um, below your hip, your back hip points. The sacrum, imagine that bony landmark could come up and tap between your fingers right into the front wall of your um, lower abdominals. Engage and release. Lift your sacrum, the back bony structure, all the way up through toward your pubic bone and release. Engage and release. Engage and release. Feel the ridge of your pubic bone, so bring your fingertips center. Feel that top ridge of your pubic bone you know, if you're a guy, just move the package out of the way and then come up a little bit higher. Can you lift your tailbone into your fingertips energetically and from your mind? Engage and release. Engage and release. Go ahead and put your hands down, arm bones pocketed underneath your body, and then roll down one rib at a time, bone by bone, waistband. Tailbone. Then bring your arms up, tuck your chin, and peel up, bone by bone. Good luck. Every day, practice. Yay! Yay!